This thing is so light. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, vlog number 332. Quick update vlog because I want my Malaysia vlogs to start on vlog 333. That would be really nice. But today is Sunday, I'm leaving on Tuesday. That means there is less than two days before I leave for Malaysia. It's going to be very exciting. I'm going to be making a vlog pretty much every day if I can. I'm going to make sure I upload daily like I normally do on my trips. On this camera, it's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna be playing the second movement of Merlin again, but a better version than my recital, because my recital version was okay, but I made a lot of mistakes, and I didn't end it on the right note. I ended on like a C. It's just really annoying, because I practiced that ending so much, only to end it wrong. So I wanna do a good job at this competition. And I'm also playing Mudra, which is the work from Bob Becker. I'm the marimba part, and as you can see, it is just like ba 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 ba. Da -da 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 It'll be a lot of fun because we'll get to see the legendary Gip Chan play a snare drum solo. As you saw two vlogs ago, Jet and I are playing Blue Ridge together as well. But of course, we have to deal with things like different marimbas. I think they're giving us the Adams Artist series. A lot of you guys have been asking me what I think of the Adams Artist series. I think it's an awesome marimba. I'm not a big fan of the frame. I don't like the little hand cranky thing that it has on the side, but I think it, it sounds pretty good because it's an Adams and the Adams members generally have really nice bars. And finally, we're playing the Man City drum set concerto, the one that has like a drum kit and like a percussion ensemble behind it. We've got a soloist, I think his name is Yuri. That's the piece that's going to be with everyone in the ensemble. Again, I have never met any of these people before, so it's going to be really awesome. But everyone's going to be in that. I think I'm playing vibraphone for it. I'm not so sure, but that is a piece that I played two years ago. I think it was just one year after this photo was taken. <laughs> I haven't practiced that one as much because I'm already familiar with it and it's a pretty easy piece compared to those two. Okay, we just got emailed the parts allocation for the Mancini thingy majiggy Jets playing Beltry, okay. I'm playing the vice part, yes. Gip Chen, you're playing police whistle, mate. But I guess it's nice that they're putting everyone in the pieces. Now I'm gonna be uploading Kim's vlog right now. I need to get all my vlogs out before I go to KL so that I can start fresh when I'm over there. By the time this one comes out, you will have already seen Kim's vlog. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to get better at the color grading and stuff. I'm still learning how to deal with S-log footage. Like S-log footage is really flat and I'm trying to color it so it looks more interesting. Like I hate this sort of color, it just, doesn't look very good and it just looks really artificial especially when you go to dark places it overcompensates and becomes really green ah. so yeah I prefer it like this it's more flat more matte more everything that's cool <laughs> Kim Dow vlog is up I think it's one of my better color grades it's much better than the vlog beforehand that one was a bit too dark but this one is pretty good <laughs> these guys at teach were like what camera is that <laughs> the Sony gets all the attention because it's an awesome camera I love this camera so much I'm so glad I'm bringing it to Malaysia right now I need to quickly practice Merlin. I have not played it all the way through for a while now. I need to play it all the way through though just in case because obviously that's how it's going to be performed so let's give it a go. Three memory lapses in that. Oh, okay, I need a little bit more practice. It is, some bits of it are better than my recital. Some bits are about the same and some bits I just completely forgot. All right, my work here is done. My practice, as you can see, has taken its toll on my fingers. Ooh, I'm trying not to wear the finger protectors because they kind of slow me down a little bit when I'm actually playing seriously. For now, I'm gonna go home and do some more work. So I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, welcome back to the office. It's I've actually cheated because the video started like two days ago and now it's Monday. So I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. So obviously I'm not gonna bring all of this. This is way too much stuff to bring for a normal person. I mean, okay, unless you guys just really like bringing mallets, but this is just way too much stuff everywhere. This is the most useful thing in the bag. So yeah, I'm back in the office to figure out what I'm gonna bring to uh, Malaysia. I'm losing my voice a little bit because I suck. I'm gonna have to disconnect a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna have to take some of this stuff and some of that stuff and some of that stuff and some of that Whoa. stuff. <laughs> I don't even know that. I own half of these mallets. Like, oh, I used to play a timpani. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so what we're gonna start with is not a random brush from the middle of nowhere or a screwdriver. This stick bag, I think I'm gonna bring this stick bag. It holds all my stuff, it's very compact in size, it's very robust. It's just the most convenient thing to have during rehearsal. So, what should I put in it? The Keiko Abe's, which are not mine, they're Jets. I'm also bringing the Van Sices, which as you guys know are my favorite mallets. I'm bringing all six of them. So the twos, the threes, and the fours. And then of course we've got Jets Abe's, which are the sevens. Sixes and fives. This is for Blue Ridge as well as Jet's new piece. I'm hoping I can get a video of that for you guys. Jet also wants to bring a pair of four R's and he wants to bring this triangle beater. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Jet's also going to be rolling with these Tom Gouger TG15s, which are a very popular snare drum stick in Australia because you never know when you might need to hit a snare drum in some place. <laughs> In addition to these mallets, which are like the core mallets for pretty much everything we're playing, I'm also going to need to bring these, the Micellis, which are my vibraphone mallets, the go-to vibraphone mallets. They're my favorite, they sound amazing, um, they are well worth the price, they have banana stickers on them, which adds 15 kilowatts of horsepower. <laughs> Very good vibraphone mallets, so I'll put those there. And instead of bringing the Bolter Blues, I, like, I see why people like them, but I don't really want to bring these because they are very old and torn. So I might instead test run with the brand new Dragonfly Vibe Mallets and then I can actually review them because <laughs> I'll actually be using them. So I'm going to add that to the pile. And then I might bring the pink Zeltzmans as well as like a warm Marimba Mallet option in case my van sizes are too hard or something. And that should be enough. That's already quite a lot of mallets as you can see. Um, it's not the most amount of mouths. Obviously, you guys know I have like 50, 60 pairs of mouths, but I don't want to bring like 50, 60 pairs of mouths because I'm not going to play 50, 60 pairs of mouths. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13 pairs of mouths, which is quite low. And that is basically the entirety of my stick bag for Malaysia. Burtons. As a spare vibraphone mallet, just in case. Hmm. Maybe I'll bring my SD1 Generals as like a backup stick. My Marimba 1 keychain, just to floss the fact that I have a Marimba 1 keychain. <laughs> these have finally come in useful. So, you guys know that I get sent a lot of these packets with my mallets because I got all these Marimba 1 mallets and each one has a packet for each pair. So I'm gonna use these packets to pack all of my mallets, even the ones that aren't Marimba 1 ones, which is basically all of them. I'm gonna pack all of them into these packets and then, yeah, we'll have a nice flat array of mallets and I won't need to pack them in this bag because I can't bring this bag on the plane, which sucks. Pack into my check-in luggage and obviously this bag takes up a lot of space in check-in luggage. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I have basically packed what I'm gonna bring and I changed my mind. I'm gonna put all of this stuff into my Marimba One stick bag as like a flat pack and then I'm gonna do this and zip it up and then put it in my luggage and it will be flat because this bag can't be flat because it looks like a nuclear bomb because it is this thing. I'll still bring this bag though as the everyday carry because it is so convenient compared to this massive square. Okay, now it's time for all of the... How do you say it? How do you say it? Technology. <laughs> See, I'm already in Malaysia. I don't even need to go. I'm going to bring some spare batteries for the Sony, which means I have to disconnect this. Ah, so much stuff to disconnect. These two GH4 batteries because I'm thinking of filming an interview, which means I need to bring the GH4, which is over there. Tascam because I can't bring the focus right along. It's too heavy and too cumbersome. So this is just going to have to do. Memory cards, uh, spares. Oh, drum key. 
Yeah, that might be useful. And I'm probably gonna bring my GoPro because as I said, there is a very important feature of this trip called the 51st floor infinity pool. It's gonna require a waterproof camera. Obviously this RX100 is anything but waterproof. If I drop this in, it's like all the money down the drain, literally. Flat laid my entire, uh, I guess you can call it tech collection. Technology. Now, obviously I wouldn't normally bring the GH4, but because I wanna film stuff uh, at the Malaysia Percussion Festival, including interviews and stuff, so I need to bring the studio gear, essentially. I'm not gonna bring the tripod because it's freaking huge. Starting over here, we have the most essential tool for any traveler, and that is the Yui Boom. <laughs> because the Yui Boom gives you some tunes whenever you're in like a hotel or whatever. Then we got the Rode microphone, which is my favorite microphone of all time. It takes a nine volt battery, and I only replaced it recently, so it should be fine, but I can always buy another one. We got the GH4, of course, my trusty GH4 with the Sigma 1835. I'm not bringing two GH4s because that would be completely unnecessary. So that one's gonna stay over right there. I've got my GoPro, waterproof lid door thing, tripod mount, head strap. This is a GH4 charger. And over here we have the Tascam, which is my portable recorder. It may need more batteries, but as I said, I can probably buy them. RX100 battery charger, which I got from eBay. And this is S120, but it actually is RX100. I should probably cross that out. My keyboard, which I use for editing, and it is completely disgusting. I actually hate it so much, but it's the only keyboard I have that's wireless. Then my trusty MX Master, which is the best mouse ever created. I love it so much. In case I need to do any sort of ROB editing or whatever, I'm gonna use that. And then over here, I have my laptop stand. It isn't really much at all. It collapses down quite flat and quite small, so I thought I might as well bring that as well. Got some power bricks, uh, some USB chargers, some cables. I'm gonna put more cables in here when I get home. Obviously I need my phone, but that's charging over there. Also need one of these thingies. Boom! Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Always gotta carry a roll of duct tape because last time I went to Melbourne, I think it was like two years ago for when we did a concert, and I was the only person who didn't bring duct tape, and we had to like tape up our uh, setups and stuff, and I didn't have any tape, and it was really awkward. So I'm gonna bring my own duct tape this time, and also some extra tennis tape in case my van sizes decide to fail on me and fall apart which would be very annoying, but if it happens, I'm ready. Mallets, that's an empty bag, which I'm gonna fill with some of my camera gear to take on board, because I don't think this is gonna fit in my luggage. Some miscellaneous chargers, my GH4 is in that bag, I'll deal with that later. And then that unsightly pile of mallets is just there because it's just there. <laughs> Turn off all of the power points. That's something you have to do before you leave. I'm gonna miss this place. I know I'm only gone for like a week. My, <laughs> my throat is gone. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't been on a solo trip since, well, since I went to New York last year. I haven't been on a solo trip at all, so this is gonna be nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring Wilson as well. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I think I'm going to end the vlog there because my voice is screwed. But I will see you tomorrow, vlog 333. That is the start of the Malaysia vlogs in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Percussion Festival. I'm gonna have some time to chill, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm gonna say goodbye to the studio for one week, two week, 10 week, for one. Six days, and then, I'm, and then I'm coming back here to do my usual walk in through that door over there. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, my voice is screwed. I will see you in Malaysia. Good night.